All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is a, a video from uh, Dabu's page, and the title is It Begins California Police Used to Enforce Neighborhood Lockdown. All right, now this is all due to the uh, uh, to the coronavirus, and it's begun, you know, here in the states, here in America, you know. So if they want to lock down and quarantine certain neighborhoods, certain areas, you know, there's nothing you can do, you know. And it's uh, said that they're using the police to enforce neighborhoods lockdown, so they can tell us. You know, at any given place, any location, you know, they can have a curfew, you know, and they can lock you down as long as they feel. This is, you know, truly a police state, as has always been, you know, with all these civilian cameras and, you know, the way that Esau rolls around with his police, his laws, you know, and things you can do and things you can't do. It's truly a police state, you know, but um, I'm going to play the video, but before I play the video... I want to read the scripture here in Revelation 22, all right, because the time is near, you know. Uh, Paul said, uh, now is high times to awake out of sleep, all right, but this is Revelation chapter 22 and 6, and he said unto me, these sins are faithful and true, and the Lord Yahweh of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And, you know, the prophets are out speaking, prophesizing week in and week out. All right. In season and out of season. And we've been telling you that, look, this place, America, is known as what? Babylon the Great, man. All right. Which means great confusion. And the Lord is going to destroy this place. But before it go out, we're, we're going to have to head into a prophecy which is called Jacob's trouble. All right. You know, whether Esau is doing a trial run with this, you know, but people are actually dying from this pestilence that is sent. All right. And I'm going to say it's sent from the heavenly father. Okay. Around the world, starting in Wuhan, China, all the way here to the States. Okay. And now they're taking advantage. Okay. And they're going to use it to do whatever it is that they like, which is to police and uh, quarantine and, you know, it could be an economy crash soon, you know, anything can pop off at this moment. But the point is, is that the prophecies are taking its place, man. All right. So it says, behold, I come quickly, which is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He's on his second return. It says, blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. All right, which we prophesize of what? Uh, 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 we prophesize destruction of Babylon the Great. We prophesize the word of the Lord. Have the men prophesize of the mark of the beast being forced, which is the RFID microchip. We prophesize the pestilence, the plagues that the Lord will send in the earth, earthquakes in diverse places. All right, rumor of war, which really that rumor of war is looming. You know, toward World War Three, because it will be a World War Three. All right. It says, and I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then said he unto me, see thou do it not, for I am thou fellow servant and of thou brethren, the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship Yahweh. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. All right. The time is at hand, man. OK, it's happening, you know. And I will hope, you know, that the Lord intensify this thing and get this thing going, you know, and not let it die down. Because we can also, you know, we also in the birth pains, man. OK, we're going through those birth pains, which represents the prophecies, man. All right. You know, we just got to wait and see, 
But now it's high times to wake up out of sleep. And as the scriptures say, for the time is at hand. The time is at hand for what? For this place to be destroyed, man. All right. For you Jakes. All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians, West Indians, Haitians. All right. You Northern Kingdom. Okay. You know, if you don't hearken and come back into the Most High, you're going to feel the wrath of the Lord. That means judgment is coming, man. Is at hand. Anyway, verse 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Exactly. All right. It says, verse 12, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. To give every man according to his work, according to according as his work still shall be. OK, so, you know, in order to, uh, you know, to have faith, you must have works because faith without works is dead, man. All right. It says I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. It says blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whatsoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Yahweh Shai, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, come and let him that heareth say, come and let him that is a thirst come and whosoever will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testify of these things say, surely I come quickly. Amun. Even so, come Lord Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach. It says the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach be with you all. Amun. All right. So the point is, surely I come quickly. All right. The day a hey, the time is hey, a uh, let me see. You know, the time is near, man, for the time is at hand. All right. So, you know, with that, I hope you were edified. I'm going to play this video and um, just want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. This is Dabu7. With the events that have been unfolding inside of California connected to this outbreak, you can say that it has officially begun. They have not used the words mandatory, but whenever they use police to enforce something, it's pretty damn mandatory. That means you're doing what they say, or they're beating you down, they're cuffing you, they're doing whatever they got to do to secure whatever site that they've been sent to. If you've got a house on the street, and you wanted to get back into it because you went to the grocery store and the cops are blocking it. They're going to tell you, no, you can't. You can't enter. You're then locked out of your neighborhood. For how long? In the future, this could extend to weeks on end. Or you could have been stuck on the inside getting locked down and not able to leave and go anywhere. So it's one or the other here. Anytime a quarantine situation pops up and in the United States... This situation in California, this is the first that we know where police have gone in, shut down roads, and done mandatory lockdowns of a region because of a death connected to the coronavirus. Now, there is high security up in Washington State around the facility where they're housing all these people, but news crews seem to be able to walk right on up into the parking lot there. Unlike in this situation in California, where they blocked off this whole suburb of Rockland in Sacramento during this whole thing. So 
there are preventive measures to take in some of these situations. But I just want to make it clear that if they've begun doing this and Cuomo and NYC is hinting that massive lockdowns and quarantines are right around the corner in NYC, I believe it begins with this. As soon as you see police being used to enforce things and lock stuff down, well, it's begun. And this is the first instance that I see here. I will continue to update on this as I come across more. If you got any information, I just want to say one more thing, you know, hey, if they roll in a quarantine and you so happen to be at your job, you, you can't leave the job, man. You know, you'll be stuck forever how long, days, hours, they keep you there. So this thing is real, man. All right. And like he said, you know, they're preparing in New York. New York is a busy city. All right. City that never sleeps, as the saying go. And then, you know, Jersey is right next to it. So anything that happens in New York, it happens to Jersey, you know, and all the rest of these neighboring cities, man. So, you know, with that, Shalom.